It is a calamity. <laughs> um, My dad's read? gone live. Dad's gone live. And don't forget about Ruger. Boy, she's got a beautiful house. Look at that roof. Just the roof. Look at that thing. She, she got the Clark W. Griswold tree. Seen the tree? It's like 12 foot 7. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's all the fucking roof. It's, it's, almost nice. bent, it's almost bent at the roof like this because it can barely fit with the star. Total Clark W. Griswold. <laughs> oh, cat butt. I'm going to have, uh, you know, I don't see where my kitty is right now because she looks exactly like him, but half the <laughs> size. Yeah, he's a monster. But I, I do have a, a black cloud that follows me everywhere. Well, I must have stole a couple of those from you because I have a few that hang above my head. That's right. And I think I'm older than you. So, yeah, you did steal some from me. Hey, Chase Felix <laughs> Stage Hour. Oh, my God. He's angry right now. He did He's not angry. try to nip Ooh. you. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Little stinker. That's why he can't stand. He's mean. He don't love his thing. <laughs> You know, a lot of those folks on there obviously need the help, and some really do want the help. Some don't. You know, mm -hmm. you can't help everybody. And, you know, really what we need more than anything is everybody's – we need mental health facilities. We need mm. – you yeah. know, we're, we're, we're the ones that are on the streets that are armed that are just basically off the rocker. They need to get the help. You know what I mean? And, you, um, you said I, the I don't right, think there's many the right places right. for them because they're not going to go to the shelter. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And from what I understand, shelters are dangerous. Is that true? Absolutely. We hear calls all the time of beatings and, you know, people... Because, again, they can only do so much. They're not really searching these people down. If these people pull out a can of beer or some drugs, and they're going to get thrown out. And that's really the gist of why a lot of them don't want to go. Because you're, you're basically saying, okay, well, we'll give you a hot bed and, a, uh, you know, and a roof over your head and some meals that keep you warm and place to go to the bathroom and shower up but all that doesn't mean anything because you're forcing rules upon them and a lot of them want to live life on their own accord you know what mm -hmm. i mean they want to do what they want to do when they want to do it they understand that being on the street is terrible but a lot of kind-hearted folks out here in this mm -hmm. world and they're willing to give them food like jacob and jeremy do right yeah and you have people that are just well man he's down on his luck here's five bucks here's ten bucks next thing you know they made 60 bucks in just a few hours time and someone who worked hard eight hour shifts barely making that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a tough toss up. And, and I understand why they, again, there's no rules. They're living it their way. They're still getting paid. There's still government assistance. Um, and like I tell you a lot of times on the show, a lot of them learn to play the system like a fiddle and they know exactly how it works. All the loopholes, they're not dumb. Mm -hmm. Really doing. I'm waiting two hours on hold, two hours forty five minutes on hold for one minute of public comment. Mm -hmm. Right. Fact, so, someone just gave me an article about the whole change of format, how everybody's angry, and the news has even ran with it now. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Um. Well, didn't uh, KTLA give you a shout out? Not KTLA. Um. Uh, the radio station, K, uh... KFI, yeah, no, Tim yeah. Tim Conway Jr. And, and their show have always been really, really kind. You know, they watch the show. They're they're a little more quiet about it because again, they're they're their their bosses are is ABC. Okay, it's what? ABC. Okay, Channel Seven. Uh, so he, again, he can only do so much supporting. You know, and again, they're they're not going to take kindly to me using stuff and then well and he's getting promoted on our chair like wait what's going on here it's almost <laughs> like this la city council like you know what i mean like you're just making too much you're mm -hmm. making too much noise and that's yeah. really what i realized is the more noise i made you know it affected people and it affected me in a sense mm -hmm. too. So. well i think that i i i i've given up calling I've just given up calling because they, they won't take an, an out of area phone um, phone number. Continue Even, with what you were talking about. I'm sorry. What was it before the phone? What was I saying before the phone? What was I was what hoping was... you remembered. <laughs> oh, come on. What was I saying? 
Um, God, what was the last thing I was saying for the damn phone went off? I know. It stopped I... on your end, and I had to stop it, and that's what froze the camera. No problem. Uh, oh, Cali- about California, you know, and, and, and people being in the Midwest, too. There you know, like go. I said, they should be worried initially about what's going on because they do look up to what California is doing. All the stupid shit that city council is passing just in the city of Los Angeles and what the governor here is doing across the state. So things like that, people should take heed. Um, thankfully, a lot of states aren't run by the same folks and they realize and say and stick up against the politicians and say, hey, this is unconstitutional. You just can't do that. We hear, we deal, we deal with it here all the time. The sheriff in Ventura County is pro us. He's always saying, hey, you know, you, that, that, that SB2, that's against, that's against the rights of the voters. You're, you're, you're infringing on their uh, Second Amendment right or, you know, and the First Amendment rights on what they're trying to do. And, um, yeah, man, it's always a constant battle. And I almost feel like if you're if you're fighting for them, it's okay. But if you're fighting against them, it's not okay. They don't want to mm-hmm. hear your Second Amendment right or your First Amendment right come out of your mouth about anything or any kind of right that you've got. So yeah. That's just the way I look at it. Uh, are you ever going to go out and um, uh, uh, stream out on the streets for us again? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Just been really busy work. Real work has been real busy. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had a lot of stuff this week with my family and, and just it's uh, life hasn't been so fun in the last couple of months, you know, and, and coming mm-hmm. towards the end of the year is always tough, too, for everybody. More parties, more bullshit, more shows. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, just yeah. trying to keep it in stride. And, and I'll definitely be getting out there soon. I You know, I'm trying to use the gimbal more and more. Who mm-hmm. is Damon? What is Damon like? So tell me, what were you like in high school? I'm a loner, a rebel, Dottie. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just, I've always been a, you know, a sports fanatic. I've always played a lot of sports. Ice hockey, football, mm-hmm. baseball. I, mean, I played basketball with my friends, but, you know, um, everything else kind of somewhat competitively. Um other than that, I mean, I don't know. I was really a sports fanatic in school. <laughs> a little too too much so, but uh, it is what it is. You know, always been a card collector. Always liked collecting uh, sports collectibles, as you guys know. Um, mm-hmm. And other than that, you know, I, I don't... I look at myself as just a, a normal guy. Nothing too crazy. Never the super popular dude, but never really gave a fuck about being the popular guy. And, Mm-hmm. You know, but I've always had a lot of friends um, from all different blocks of life. That's one thing I've always noticed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like it like that. You like it like that. Yep. Um, so would you say that you like to have kind of a mystery side towards you? I don't, know. I don't know if it's so much mystery. I just, in this day and age of everybody sharing everything about their lives every two seconds, on the internet i just feel like my life is mine you know mm-hmm. and um and nowadays as can you hear the cat back there i'm sorry if you can't no going it. Okay. i can't hey. if hey. you need to feed him that's okay we can no wait. he doesn't need food that's the last thing he needs is food okay he just, <laughs> he's, he's mad because the door is closed and he wants to get in the room and he's angry um so you know basically like i said i was uh, I think that nowadays with the show, I won't say the show is popular, but as the show grows, I'll say it that way. Let me stop you there. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Forgive me. Um, Why wouldn't you say it's popular? Well, because lots of people don't know about it still. And, you know, the numbers aren't huge. So I don't know. I, I just wouldn't use that term myself. I would just say, you know, it's, um, I don't know. I, I just wouldn't use the word popular. Okay. <laughs> but I would say as it gains steam or mass. Momentum. Um, yeah. Or momentum. Mm-hmm. Um, I've noticed the uptick in threats um, and uh, the uptick in, um, you know, people like ordering pizzas to your house and things like that. 
you know, and I don't take too kindly to that. So, um, you know, you're invading my space in that sense. It's one thing to see me out in the street and say hello or even be mean to me. Mm -hmm. There's a whole nother to come to my house and be mean to me. So nowadays I do my best to leave my family and, um, you know, my personal life pretty quiet. And, and on top of that, even before the show, I just wasn't that person. I'm like, I'm, that's mine, you know? Like, you, there's no, you don't really need to know in that. Not you. I'm saying the world I, in general. I, I, world in general. You know, they, the, the world, you know, doesn't need to know. You know, and I don't know. That's just really the way I look at it. It's like, you got enough lives to look at on the internet I, trust me life, my life ain't awesome yeah <laughs> so nothing to uh, you know well you know of or anything so. you're close to a hundred thousand people well i mean yeah i mean but what people. does that really mean like does, what does that really mean that's more than dodger stadium that is that much that is that much but i mean if you think of it in that realm dang that's a that's a um, is, but if you notice, though, on anybody, not not just me, anybody who's got any numbers, so take a guy who's got a million followers, okay? If he goes live or she goes live, you're not going to see a million followers in there. You won't even see 100,000. Mm -hmm. It's weird how it works that no matter what your number is, you can pretty much guess that 8 to 10% will be in your room live when you go live. Because they're most <laughs> of the folks that actually want to watch you, not do it late, and want to see it all. You know, um, and that's just the way I look at it. I mean, you can just see it. I mean, why don't all these people that have way big numbers have a million views on everything, and, and then when they go live, there's a million. It's just not that way. I mean, I watch Dr. Disrespect. He's huge. I mean, we're talking about what probably the biggest gaming streamer there is. There is probably nobody bigger. Maybe two other guys. I don't know. And even him, you go in his live, he's you know, got 40,000, which is a lot. That's a 40,000 actually in the room watching. Wow. But he's got 5 million, 10 million followers. I've never heard of him. <laughs> oh, man, you need to look him up. You need okay. Dr. Disrespect. He's he created this whole like um, this whole other uh, like get up and gimmick and he wears a whole costume with it and it's like he gets all into character and that that's what did it. Not only is he really good at gaming, but he's good at gaming in a costume with a character that he almost never pops out of. He's in character the whole fucking time. Everything he says. And I'm telling you, he's rolling a Lamborghini around like the star that he is. You know, Mountain wow. Deuce, Mountain Deuce paying him over a million dollars a year to play video games. Okay, that's how big these guys are. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I don't consider myself big. And no matter what number, I don't get fixated on the numbers. You never mm -hmm. hear me say that. I mean, you'll hear me say, "Oh wow, there's five thousand. Shout out to the five thousand watching." Mm -hmm. You know, because again, I think it's uh, dangerous. Yes. Because you're just going to be fixated on the number. Then psychologically, if you don't get that many the next day or, or next show or two shows, you're going to be like, well, what am I doing wrong? And you may not be doing anything wrong. It might have been just that time you went on was more, you know, a little more uh, content heavy. I mean, content less heavy to where people are hopping in at that time because they were off work or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Damon, in um, three years, do you still plan on having your show? I, I mean, anything can happen, but, you know. Anything can happen. I mean, I don't even know if we'll be here as a, a species in three years. 